Shinobi Ninja. Some fight for honor, justice, and protection. Others fight for revenge, vengeance, and order. Some ninjas are rogue, while others are organized. Some follow strict rules, while others make their own rules. Some ninjas are outlawed, others are prestigious in society. Kid Sasuke, the outlawed runaway, and Strider Hiru, an A-class Strider warrior. What would happen if a rogue ninja interferes with a Strider warrior? Today, we answer that question. Today, we rewind Rumble. As many of our previous viewers should know, Sasuke's origin is one of tragedy. His very own brother holds the carnage of slaughtering Sasuke's entire clan. Because of this, Sasuke has made it his mission to seek vengeance for all innocent lives lost. Now before Sasuke was branded as an international criminal due to going rogue, he tried at first to cope with his traumatization by joining Team 7. As for Hiru, growing up as an orphan left little choices for his life. His best option was to follow his sister and join the Strider's training program. As an active Strider agent, all personal data such as real name, age, nationality, career, and any other background information is held top secret. Both he and his sister were very well trained, so much so that Hiru was ranked as an A-class Strider. His sister Maria was mentally unstable and one day she ticked and murdered 10 Strider ninjas. This forced Hiru into a decision he constantly regrets. He was forced to kill his own sister through self-defense after he was directed on a mission to arrest her. This is important to know because both Sasuke and Strider fight with a constant thought of tragedy in their minds. In battle, Hiru is incredibly focused, appearing silent but stern. He shows superhuman capabilities heightened by his great agility and speed, which allows him to dodge barrages of bullets with little effort. Sasuke, during the primary days of Team 7 was actually the most skilled member excluding their leader Kakashi. Naruto during that time was the worst student of his class. Sure he was skilled in a vacuum but compared to the other academy ninjas he wasn't the brightest during his childhood. Sasuke only joined the team because his major lacking skill was working with other teammates. Hiro being the youngest A-class strider of course showcases his excellence in learning. He achieved that A-class status not only from his amazing acrobatic ability but also his mastery of the cipher. This sword employs cipher energy as its main source of power which surrounds the weapon when in use. Activating this energy generates large amounts of high voltage electricity making it a dangerous weapon when using near bodies of water. As a kid, Sasuke's main chakra natures are lightning and fire. He doesn't master all of them until adulthood, but with lightning and fire alone, he can still pack a punch, especially with his Shidori Chakra Ball. Sasuke is also proficiently trained in ninjutsu, and with his Sharingan, he can quickly memorize his opponent's fight patterns and counter them with relative ease. For distant travel, Strider has his glider. The fastest we've seen him fly this thing is roughly Mach 58, as he flew from the Earth to the Moon in roughly two and a half minutes, but his most impressive use of technology would be his ability to summon mechanical animals, some including the Hawk Moth, Roller Spider, and most iconically, the Tetrapodal Robo Panther. While these machines are easily broken, the saying goes strength in numbers and he can summon dozens of robots at any given moment. Both of these ninjas have completed missions that others would have considered out of their league. Both of these ninjas have been forced into situations they desperately tried to avoid but still came out on top. And now, only one of these ninjas will walk away alive. It's time we set ourselves a circumstance. The location of this battle will be the outskirts of the Hidden Leaf Village, giving Sasuke a mental advantage. This battle will have no preparation, which in theory would give Strider an advantage considering he has so much more experience. With that circumstance bar finally loaded, it's time to Rewind Rumble!
どうでもいいさっさと来いやろそんな玩具は必要ない I hope you enjoyed that animation, and if you did, special thanks to Team Animation Rewind, Maniac Mitsudo. I'd also like to thank VV Ornitaire for the speed slash power calculations for Strider, and Kepe Clay 23 for the Sasuke calculations, as well as BTL Video Productions for extra notes in general. Don't forget to stay tuned for the post analysis, and at the end of the video, we'll reveal who's fighting next. Sasuke barely pulls out a win. This wasn't an easy choice by any means. If I wanted to make this an easy debate, I could have very easily included adult Sasuke to fight Strider, but I wanted to make this much more fair and include Kid Sasuke. I'm very happy to explain why we believe Kid Sasuke would win more often than not. Keep in mind I did say more often than not as I do believe this battle is so close it can go either way depending on the circumstance, but statistically speaking, Sasuke ever so slightly has better stats than Strider. Start Starting with speed, Strider has the clear advantage. The fastest we've seen him fly is roughly Mach 58 as he flew from the Earth to the Moon in roughly two and a half minutes. However, in combat he is much faster as he was able to keep up with Cypher Electrons. The electric plasma at this rate can easily reach speeds up to Mach 176. As for Kid Sasuke, he is below the speed of sound pre-Taijutsu training but became Mach 30 after the Curse Seal version 1, being roughly 30 times faster than Thunder and with version Version 2 he has a 5x multiplier which ranks him up to Mach 150. Both characters are extremely fast but Strider is roughly 15% faster. In terms of power and durability, Strider has the power to destroy the gravity core and the durability to survive its gravitational pressure. This would require 408 tons of explosive power and to survive it would place him at around multi city block level durability. As for Sasuke, we have seen him exert enough electric force with his Shidori that he busted an entire mountain. If we lowball this feat, it would require at least 11 million tons of TNT, and since the Shidori is a close range attack, Sasuke was an arm's reach from the explosion, putting his power and durability at both roughly mountain level. For Hiru to be an A class strider, he would need three times the strength of a C class strider, to which has the strength of a 60 man division. This would mean strider has the strength of 120 men. The average man can lift 135 pounds, meaning strider can lift roughly 8 tons. As for Sasuke, he can scale to Naruto, who is able to lift a stone that is at least 50 feet tall, wide, and long, which lowballing would make it at least 100 tons, assuming it's hollow. If it wasn't hollow, it would be easily 10,000 tons, but let's lowball this because 100 tons alone should give Sasuke the strength edge. In terms of skill and experience, while Sasuke is quite skilled for a kid his age, this one without question goes to Strider. He has well over 2,000 years worth of experience and is trained for far longer. Now some might argue that Sasuke would have a tough time getting past the fleet of robotic panthers, but considering that Sasuke easily kept up with fleets of Naruto clones, this should really only be a distraction for Sasuke, not an actual threat. Overall, if we look at the gaps, 
Strider is 15% faster, 170 times more experienced, while Sasuke is about 27,000 times more powerful, 27,000 times more durable, and 12 point times 5 stronger. As Sasuke holds more edges and wider edges, the winner of this rumble would have to be Sasuke. Now of course, these two aren't the only ninjas around, so if you want to see a ninja free for all, all you have to do is send a chakra ball towards that like button. If this video gets 10,000 likes, there will be a ninja free for all. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas for future Rewind Rumbles and stay tuned as the next fighters are going to be revealed. On the next episode of Rewind Rumble. That's right, up next we have an epic 3D battle between Goku and Saitama which is going to be animated by Team Animation Rewind's El Cheatham and YT. He's the same guy who made Spider-Man vs. Bumblebee, except this time he's going to make the animation much longer and much more action packed. So get hyped for it. I'm Animation Rewind and I'll fast forward to you later.